the world is changing. People want to live where there's a strong basis of arts and culture. The Triangle is the place to be. We've got a great diversity of people, great schools, uh, great culture. This is just an overall good community. The arts are certainly a part of the quality of life. We get on those lists because this is a wonderful place to live and work. Art and creativity, it helps us to communicate in a way that you can't communicate any other way. They add a dimension to your life that cannot be found anywhere else. It crosses all socioeconomic lines. It's the most unifying thing that I've ever experienced. What is really unique about the Triangle is the fact that we are three major cities. They all have very different art scenes. They have very different demographics. The Triangle has fine arts, theater, ballet, dance, film. The list is kind of endless. I think the music scene here is really interesting because it's kind of the intersection of two forces coming together. The sort of rich heritage and roots of North Carolina music collides with the influence of the universities and of all the transplants that live here. We've seen over the past several years that there's a lot of filmmakers in the Raleigh area and a lot more people coming here. And so the film community is really growing. We think that by pushing the envelope, by pushing the creative boundaries of storytelling here, it's going to be better for everybody. They're going to see the value of having good filmmaking come from this area. The creative economy, the creative workers are talented, interesting people who bring resources to the community. People are out and they're involved and they're engaged and I think that's something that's lacking from a lot of communities. Not everybody understands the value of the arts. You can't have people from all over the country moving here just for business. It's important that when we think of business and the arts, we understand that the arts are a business. The arts are the kind of R&D for the creative workforce. So many of the artists are increasingly looking at the entrepreneurial model. It's a huge economic piece of who we are. I mean, the arts in our community are like $143 million. I mean, that's a pretty sizable chunk. Our artists deserve such respect for what they are doing. The environment that's been created here is really unique. It is on a trajectory that is really exciting. I don't know that we need to change so much as finish.